Now here's what I'm throwing. It's a Zorro spook. Right there. Bo looked in big trouble. Was Lord of mercy and things right there. Get you. It's got little rattles in it. To be honest with you, I don't fish with them a lot. So I can't tell you no whole lot about it. I can't go and act like I know about something if I don't know about it. I just know it catches fish. There he is. Oh my gosh, there he is. Oh yeah, that's a good one too. Oh Lord, is he hung up on? Oh Lord. Look here. Oh, there's a big explosion. Oh my gosh. There he is. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh my gosh. I'll be honest with you, that scared me. It really did. <laughs> I don't know why. Yeah, I say that scared me. Oh Lord, I'm glad I took my blood pressure medicine a while ago. <laughs> and look what he chewed on right there. <laughs> That's our old spook. Now walking the dog back to my new kayak. It's my maiden voyage on my kayak right here. And I thought I'd come up this little lake right here and see if I can catch some. And I ain't been here five minutes, boy. I done caught one. Look at that. Look at that. That might be a good sign. Yeah. Folks, I appreciate y'all tuning in. I'm Rocky Drake. Rocky Drake Outdoors. Now let's go catch a nut. And I'll tell you a little bit about my kayak and about the uh, equipment I'm using and all that good stuff. So I'm going to unhook this fish right here. Turn her loose. Okay, folks, I always bring you some needle nose pliers because them treble hooks right there, boy, oh, Lord, they're sharp and they get in your hand. And uh, I don't want to do that myself. All right. Okay. That's a good, solid uh, four and a half, five pound bass right there. And there she went. Okay, I want to do that again. Sure did. <laughs> Yep, right there. That's what I'm catching them on. Right there. That's the color right there. Got a white belly, gold sides, and a blue back. I ain't got no idea what flavor that's called right there, but it's uh, it's working pretty good. Got big eyeballs see right there. I think that's one of the big things, the big eyeballs. Um, this uh, topwater fishing can be like scary, honestly, when they hit it like that one did right there. That was an aggressive extremely aggressive yeah it was like I'm he meant to get it like I said it's the first time I ever fished out of a kayak uh, it's uh it's it's challenging I'll be honest with you uh, especially to fish and video at the same time because I don't have a lot of room to move around so I'm trying to line the camera up with where I'm throwing and all that good stuff and it's it's making it a little bit tough but uh, if I don't get to blow up some video folks I apologize but uh, I'll do the best I can. And uh, so far, we've done pretty good. And uh, this kayak here, it's a pelican. I'll show y'all more about that a little bit later. Tell you where I got it and everything. Always where you say, always. Where that right there? Oh, Lord, yes. Okay. It's overcast, cloudy today, as y'all can tell. And uh, there's a front blowing in here later today, so I thought I'd take advantage of it here, so. Hopefully we can catch about four or five more of them. Wind picking up a little bit. Actually, I like a little chop, little bit of chop on the water like that right there. I don't like it slick, glass slick. It don't seem like them fish to me bodies do it. Now I've got this paddle right here that I'm using. I also got them foot paddle right there. See right there? On the kayak. When I went and bought this kayak, folks, I bought me a, a, a paddle. But this here's a Magellan Outdoors. HT bent carbon. You can see the little carbon fibers down in there. See how they are right there? And, uh, but this one here's got, can I see how the, the neck on it is kind of like? But now, this is just half of it right here. The other half right here, so, so what it does, you just put it together like this right here. And then you can do it like this right here, like in professionals does. So anyway, that's it on the, on the uh, paddle right there. Like I say, if I don't sound like I know what I'm talking about, it's because I don't. I don't. I'm just, I'm just kind of winging it here. So, this kayak, <laughs> it's going to take some getting used to. There's just no doubt about that. I mean, I see it. And I'm trying to be as quiet as I can. Now, we got lily pads growing out in here, probably about 20 yards from the bank, and it's all the way around this lake. And, uh, that's just in the last year or two, that's happened. I mean, it's gotten where you can't even hardly fish this lake from the bank. 
and uh, I like fishing it. So that's one reason I went and got my kayak. If I can get in here with them. See the old lily pads, see that? Him treble hooks. Tell you one thing, them things will get every little piece of whatever it is out there. It'll catch it a goose feather if it gets a change. That's the main hook that catch a goose feather. There's a bunch of goose feathers floating around out here. Now folks, this kayak I got right here, it's a pelican. Of course, it's a foot pedal. You can see right here, foot pedal. And this thing right here, it stares it. So it's got a little uh, rudder in the back. When you turn every how you turn that, where it's pointing, that's where you're going to go. Might as well fish this one. I got this thing pointing this way. Yep. There he is. We got this. Oh, I know my thumb was in the way. I'm sorry about that. It's an, oh, he come. Oh, he come off. Oh, gosh. Mm. Oh, man, that's a nice fish, too. I felt it. I had him on there for a minute, boy. He, pulled, he started pulling, and then he come off. Oh, Lord. See if I have my spotlight trolling motor on this thing, I could just sit here and fish. <laughs> but I ain't. That was a good fish. <laughs> okay, let's try it again. Okay, let's throw it right back out here and work. I got that bite just then. See if there's another one out there. Right back to me. Just back and forth. Just pulling on it, making that. Lure do just like that. Been a long time since I walked my dog. There he is. I got this one. Well, I think he's a very big one, but I got him. <laughs> Still the <laughs> look here. Yeah, I'm telling you right now, I love it. Well, folks, hey, we ain't doing too bad. You got me nothing here, look here. Not a big one, but a nice one. I have my maiden voyage in my kayak right here. And I uh, got him on that top water, Zorro Spook, walking a dog. Yep, short end. We've been fishing now about 30 minutes. So, anyway, I don't feel like it's too bad right now. I'm gonna turn this one loose. There he went. I hope it. <laughs> you see that? He jumped. Uh, he jumped about a foot up in the water right there. Oh Lord! Let's uh, see if we can catch that. I feel like a big shot out here. Yep, I feel like one of professionals out here. Okay, hey. <laughs> Let's try it right there. Looks like a good spot. This bank right here should have some really nice fish now. Them old bass they lay up on them lily pads right there. And when they something comes by, they just they say, mm-hmm, that's what I'm talking about. I'm going to go out there and eat that thing. There he is. I got him. I got him, y'all. Oh, he come off. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord, y'all. That was a nice one, too. I seen his head come up. Look like about big as my fist. He good. Him. So, anyway. Yes, I got this. I got this. Oh, it's a big one too. Oh my gosh, look what a fish. Look what a fish. Please stay on there, please stay on there. Oh my gosh. Look, look, look. Look what a fish. Oh my God. He mad too. Oh my gosh. <laughs> now that's a good one. Folks, this is, this is a good one here. This is a good one. Oh my gosh. Don't jump in the boat. Oh Lord, I gotta be careful with them hooks. I get him. Oh yes, look at that thing. Oh my gosh. Now that's a fish there now. Look at the mouth on that thing. Look at the mouth. Where's my water blockers? Oh yeah there. Folks, I want y'all. To look at that right there. Now that's what I'm talking about. 
This makes the second big one we got. Goodness, folks. Look at that thing. Folks, I ain't got so much room in this kayak. But don't y'all look at that. Look at what a big old fish. Oh, Lord. Nice, big, large mouth bass on top water. And that was a blow up right there for sure. Look at this goozle down in there. Oh, yeah, he tore that big top water. It's all spooky. All right. I'm going to turn him loose now. Fish, you just don't know how much. Look at that. Son, he ready to go. <laughs> Well, folks, I got so caught up in that top water action today that uh, I didn't really go into much detail about my, show y'all about my kayak or my fishing equipment. So I'm back at my shop right now. We're going to do that. So this kayak right here, let me show y'all. It is a Pelican. Uh, it's a good kayak. I looked up the reviews on a, on a Pelican kayak and it's really good reviews. And for the money, I mean, it's, uh, it's, it's a doable. And right here's what it cost. $1,499. Now I know that's a lot of money, but I'm gonna tell you folks, if you get to looking into some of these kayaks, you, you can spend four, five, six, seven thousand dollars on one. And I just cannot justify that at all. So, cause I don't do enough of it. All I'm gonna do is fish these little lakes like we did today and they drift down a little small river every now and then. So, but anyway, this kayak right here, it is, uh, it's 10 foot long. I don't know really how much it weighs, but it's, it's fairly light. The pedals right here, that's what propels you along right there. So you've seen that in the video. And these things, see, they'll just come right up out of there like that. There's them little fins. They stick down about a foot or so below the kayak. Now, if you're in real shallow water, that's why you can remove these things. Like if you're going to drift down a river and it's real shallow, um, you can't use these right here because them fins right there will be dragging the bottom. So you can take them out when you don't need them. But let me tell you folks, I didn't know anything about kayaks, I seriously. When I saw this hole in the bottom of the kayak, like right there, I thought this thing ain't gonna float, but they got it figured out where it does. So anyway, that's that's the paddle right there. See, it goes right down in there like that, slides right down in there. The seat's a big deal on the kayak now. This seat right here, it's, uh, I'll be honest with you. Now you can take this seat out too. That seat right there is pretty comfortable. I, I was really surprised. You kind of you can adjust it where you can lay back a little bit more, and so that worked real good. Now this this thing right here, that's your steering wheel. Wherever that thing's pointing, that's where your kayak's going. See when you turn that, see they got a little rudder thing back here. See this little rudder? You just let that down when you, when you get in the water, right there. And watch this. See see it turn? Yeah. That determines on which direction you're going. Um, let's see what else. Oh, and it's got some rod holders. You can see rod holders right there. It's got uh, three of them in there. So you can put, you can, it'll hold three rods while you're fishing. So that's about it on, on the kayak. Now today, I was using this ducket rod right here. Uh, it's a silver rod. -o. And let me, well, first, let me tell you about these rod, these silver rods. They're not real expensive. They're, they're the cheaper, real cheaper version of these ducket rods. Now, you can spend a lot of money on these ducket rods. You get up, I mean, some of them like way up yonder high price, and there ain't no way I'd ever pay the kind of money that some of them more expensive ducket rods uh, cost. I can just tell you that right now. And this one right here, it's a medium heavy. It's seven foot long, you can see right there. Doing what we did today, it's just me now. I like a real stealth rod, because you don't want, when you, when you set the hook on one of them fish, First thing he's gonna to wanna to do is go back up on them lily pads. So, or get down in a brush pile. So you don't want him to do that. So you gotta have a stiff rod to just kinda of keep them coming your way. This reel right here, let me show you right here. It's a loose reel, bait casting reel. And I've got 17 pound test Berkeley mono line on there. Now this Zorro spook right here, I tried to look it up to see exactly what they call this particular one. But they got so many of them, I couldn't figure it out. But it's got a blue back on it, and it's got gold on the sides with an off-white belly with a big eyeball on the front. It's got the rattles in it, of course. But I've had this I've had this lure right here for so long, I don't even know if they still make this particular color. But uh, it doesn't matter, because anything that looks like a shed is gonna work. Um, 
certain time of the year, going into the fall, like right now, is a good time to do this. So, hey, get you a Zorro spook or any kind of top water bait. Sling it out there and catch a big fish. Top water explosions. Woo, Lord, they don't get no better than that. Folks, appreciate y'all tuning in, and uh, we'll catch you next time. Mm -hmm.